Hello and welcome to Fashion Auto TV. I'm Evenson Martinez and joining me today is a designer who's making her New York Fashion Week debut this September. So please welcome Rhiannon Wadsworth to Fashion Auto TV. Hello, how are you? Hi, I'm great. How are you doing? I am doing wonderful. I love talking fashion. <laughs> and you love making fashion. <laughs> yes, I do. I love it. It's so good to be with you, uh, with you here today. I appreciate the opportunity. It is absolutely our pleasure. So Rhiannon, let's, let's just dive right into this and let's talk about your brand, Wadsworth House. Uh, tell us about it and you know, how it started and what was going through your mind. Well, I launched Wadsworth House. It formed in 2020 in the height of the pandemic, which was oh. great timing. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I know, and I launched uh, the first capsule collection last year, and so we're a very new company, new brand, and I really didn't think that we would be showing a collection this soon, so I feel really honored to be able to do that, but I've always wanted to start my own brand, I've always wanted to own a company, I've worked in fashion and been doing fashion since I was in high school, so I kind of always knew that this was the end goal. And um, it's taken me a while to get here, but here I am. <laughs> well, you know what? We're going to talk about your collection, but let's let's go back in time. You just said high school, so <laughs> so you're you're one of those, right? Started yeah. at a very young age, though you still look pretty young. But <laughs> tell us about your background in fashion. Well, I um, I've always been a creative. I actually started sketching dresses and designs when I was about nine years old which is going to sound crazy I would I thought I wanted to be a wedding dress designer at the time <laughs> and I would dress little, like sketch little designs and I would make my mom and everyone around me pick their favorites and then I ended up enrolling in a design like sewing home ec class in high school and we got to do our own little fashion show there so it was like a small scale fashion show and I just always felt really passionate about it. I didn't ever envision doing anything else. I grew up with a family that I was really lucky to be able to travel. And so that kind of gave me good exposure to different cultures and fashion and just my perspective on life. And um, I also had a dad that's really into fashion. So he would take joy in dressing my mother up in elaborate clothing. And so that was kind of my... <laughs> I would just go in her closet and look around and be like, someday, like, I'm going to be able to create these looks or be in these looks. I just love to be surrounded by, like, the beauty of the garments. And so I think there's so many different creative things that were pulling at me. And I kind of just always knew. <laughs> well, it sounds like your someday is now. It, it's really happening. So <laughs> let's talk about your brand and your collection. You are women's wear right? Yes. Just women's wear for now. For now. Yeah. For now. yeah. <laughs> no, I don't have plans to do anything else for now, but yeah, women's wear. But you know, you can, you, you can do everything and you could still travel back to do bridal wear at some point, but your, your current collection, what I've seen is modern. It's chic. They're very clean lines, but you've got some real like wow factor statement elements like what you're wearing now the epaulets with the fringe I mean that's yeah. it's pretty sexy and very modern so where does your inspiration come from I it's probably I don't know if it makes sense to anyone else but <laughs> my I've always been inspired by the Rococo era like 1800s Marie Antoinette's all of that, like the corsetry, the fabrics, the cinched in waist, like that is kind of embedded in a little bit of the back of my mind of everything that I design. Um, but it's kind of funny that you asked that because I was thinking about this the other day and I was thinking, you know, if you look at my clothing now, my most recent garments are really more inspired by the West, you know, my Western heritage being from Utah. I've kind of 
circled back and come back to home. But growing up, I kind of wanted to escape that. I was like, we give me a <laughs> yeah, you're like, I want to just get out of my smaller town and get away from the, the cowboy vibes. And I always kind of felt judged in the LDS religion and didn't feel like I really fit in with the way I dressed and started to get tattoos. It was kind of like I had my little rebellion and I always was more of like a punk rock girl. And so I know I'm going in a circle here, but I, I really was inspired by a few key moments. And I think around the time I started new, knowing I wanted to get into design, I was starting to look at fashion. I loved like my mentor was Alexandra McQueen oh, and yes. <laughs> and um, Mary Katransu, she was, you know, her collection in spring 2013 was very inspirational to me because it kind of fused modernness with that Rococo Marie Antoinette and with these very structured silhouettes and ornate designs. And then I got really into Marquesa, which happened to be one of my first internships here. And so I kind of took a lot of that inspiration um, and fused it into what makes me me. Um, I don't know if you ever watched the Gwen Stefani, What You Waiting For music video. Yeah. So that came out and it was like this perfect fusion of these regal Marie Antoinette Rococo outfits okay. with like kind of twisted, quirky, edgy uh, Alice in Wonderland. Like a modern twist to that. Yeah. Show. And so I kind of went from being more into the evening wear and now I've kind of taken a little more in the more recent years, um, taken inspiration from my heritage. So like my senior thesis collection was inspired by the mountains and utilitarian, which I'm going to show you a piece from my senior thesis. And, um, and then the past few have also been a little bit Western inspired. <laughs> so I, I don't know if that's going to be a theme going forward, but I guess it's close to my heart. So you but, might see the collection. But it's, it's a theme now and, you know, yeah. and things can change. I mean, it's called evolvement, right? So you will yeah. continue to grow and evolve. And usually I find one collection really plays off the other. And it, like this yeah. current collection should be a point of departure for the next one. I'm yeah. looking uh, behind you and I've seen some of your images too. You've got a limited color palette, which I find, <laughs> no, no, I find that very grown up. I mean, a very mature. I just, you know, you're, you're not all over the place. I mean, it's very curated. I've seen mm -hmm. the, that camel color, the mm -hmm. white or shades of white or ivory, and then the black together. It's a very strong palette. Thank you. Yes. I, I feel like, well, because a lot of what I've been doing recently has been inspired by the West. I went from the mountain collection, which was browns and maroons. It was like a fall collection that was you know, your plaids and think of like a lumberjack mountain man. <laughs> and then I went kind of more, even more Western heritage and kind of pulled some Western kind of cowgirl vibes, but I didn't, I wanted it to still feel modern. And that's probably what you have seen on my website. And I actually most recently did a second drop of that, which is kind of a fusion between last year's collection and what I'm going to be showing this year. It was just a few teaser pieces, which actually are going to be in a couple magazines soon, but those kind of have a little bit more plaids and things popping out. I don't really play with prints a lot. I'm pretty picky. I do love like some bright colors and florals. I don't find myself drawn to them quite as much. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's why you're seeing probably more of those tones in these most recent collections. Can we talk about New York Fashion Week. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I mean, I want to add to the excitement, not to your nerves, but I mean, you've got to be kind of freaking out a little bit. I, I, yes. In a good way, in a good way, right? <laughs> I'm so excited, but I'm also nervous because it's my first time showcasing myself and putting myself out there to the world. I mean, my website and the soft launch was there, but this is really like a whole nother level, another platform. So just making sure that everything looks up to standard of how I want to present myself. I mean, I've, I've worked with so many other designers and helped them at fashion week before. So I know how stressful it can be. So I'm excited, but I can't believe it's around the corner. <laughs> how do you want to present yourself? 
I am very like to me having good quality and luxury like making sure that everything looks expensive is very important to me I'm like quality is very important so I want and I also want to make sure that my message gets across and that you know it, it makes sense to everyone because as a designer you see it in your mind a certain way and you hope that it translates like that I can say that it's going to be a pretty wild show. <laughs> um, it's definitely going to be a little different from some of my peers. It's it's going to be interesting. I don't want to spoil any surprises, but I got some things up my sleeves. <laughs> but Fashion Week, and you're supposed to have that. I mean, it it you've it's that balance between really wild, crazy, and then more subdued. But I can tell you right now, and I'm not just saying this because you're in front of me, okay? Check, check, check your three bullets, quality, luxury, and messaging. From what I've seen, the little bit that I've seen of your work, you're hitting those three points. Oh, thank you. So really you're, in, my, in my opinion, <laughs> in my opinion, you're in a good place. But tell me more about New York Fashion Week then. Where are you showing? Uh, are you part of a group? Yes. So I am showing in collaboration with Runway 7 Fashion. They gave me a wonderful opportunity and asked me to show with them. Um, we'll be showing at Sony Hall Saturday, September 10th, 1 p.m. Doors open at noon, so you got to get your seats. Um, and it's actually really amazing because they do offer a limited amount of tickets to the public. Um, and, you know, they're not very expensive to get tickets and half of the proceeds go to a charity. So it's very rare in fashion to be able to go and see the designers, the up and coming designers. Um, so it's a really great opportunity. And I actually went to one of these shows with them. And I remember sitting in the audience and like almost tearing up telling my friend, like, I want to present here with them someday. And now it's happening. And here you are. Here you <laughs> yeah. are. Well, I will tell you the runway seven people are amazing. So you were there last year, last season. <laughs> I, I, I was there as well. And the venue is fabulous. And yeah. the shows were fantastic. And yes, you had some crazy wow factors like Suzanne Barsh, her show was insane. But then you had, you know, the more subdued, you know, just straight up runway. And it's again, it's that balance that will actually work in your favor. Yeah, so, I, uh, think so. I think you're with a really great group uh, so I definitely wish you the best, uh, there, and there will probably be a thousand people there. I mean, I don't know what the capacity at Sunny Hall, uh, but it, a it's a lot. Yeah. Uh, so, not to mention the streaming. So for the people not in New York city, you can stream it. So there's going to be a lot of eyeballs on the show. <laughs> so runway seven, September 10th, 1 PM, but I'm not going to let you go just yet because I want to ask you, it's, it's, it's almost kind of an insane question to ask right now, but I do want to know about your future plans. I, I know that's, I, I almost hate asking because you're right now you're working just on fashion week, but what happens the day after, you know, what happens after fashion week? I mean, there's, there's, there's one every season and from the looks of it, you are going places. So you've clearly are thinking about your future. I mean, what happens after this collection well, I'm already thinking about the next collection. That's the, how the, it goes. <laughs> but I am trying to use this platform to get more awareness of Wadsworth House and to scale the brand, to get into you know boutiques and get into more regions. Um, I would love someday to be sold worldwide, to be a global luxury company. Um, so that's really the goal, but we're taking baby steps right now. And just trying to get more eyeballs on us, get discovered. It's harder than ever these days to get people just to see your brand, hear about your brand. So um, that's why I'm excited for this opportunity. And we're just trying to get more people in Wadsworth House so we can start a little society. <laughs> it's, very, it's very competitive. I mean, and that's always been the case. I agree with you, though. I think it's a little bit more competitive these days than in the past. And part of your job as the creative director and designer and founder of your own brand is to separate yourself from everyone else. And from everything you said today, it sounds like you're doing that. <laughs> and again, your collection does show very well. Um, so are there any final thoughts, anything you, anything you want to leave us with? 
or any any kind of surprises or teasers you want to leave with us? <laughs> well, like I said, the show is, I will say that Wadsworth House, one thing that differentiates us is we're unapologetic about embracing your femininity and your power in that. And everything enhances your feminine silhouette. And so that's kind of what you can expect from us and how you can look at us. You're gonna, you know, this show is gonna deliver the same ornate pieces and cinched in waist and corsetry and just lots of elaborate looks. And like I said earlier, I have a few surprises. The show is gonna be very fun. So you don't, if you're gonna choose a show, I don't wanna be biased, but you should definitely make your way to mine because it's, it's going to be fun. <laughs> but we need people who may not be attending to definitely follow you on your Instagram and also tune in to the live stream through Runway 7. So tell us what your Instagram handle is. Yes, it's Wadsworth underscore house. So Wadsworth house. And that's the same on pretty much every social media network. We're on TikTok and YouTube. We're working on that. And we're kind of on everything. Um, and so you can do the virtual tickets. And let's see. If, if I'm missing anything, you can find everything on our website too, wadsworthhousecollection.com. I don't know if I'm missing anything. <laughs> Did I answer everything? We will be following you. So I hope yes. you're a person. And I do want to wish you the very, very best. Just have a really fabulous, fabulous runway. Rhiannon, it's a pleasure to meet you. And thank you for being on Fashion Auto TV today. Thank you so much, Vincent. I hopefully will see you at the show. Thank you.